From right across Australia, two families have been chosen. They've never met, but are about to swap their lives and their wives. Tracy Jackson is a fitness fanatic. She and husband Russell are obsessed with each other and their health, and give their daughters the freedom to do their own thing. Janine Daly is a stay-at-home mum and cake-baking queen. She and husband Shane are very protective of their eight children, rarely letting them out of their sight. The couple never get time alone together. Both wives are leaving the familiar behind for one week to take on the other wife's life. See ya! Wow. So what happens when you swap a mum who's never worked with a mum who's always working? That really makes me angry. What are these children eating and drinking? I don't believe children should be having protein shakes, so no more supplements. And there's no nice way to put your children overweight. They're unhealthy and they're eating too much sugar. Yeah, but it's good sugar, it's not bad sugar. I mean, good sugars. Not sugar, every sugar. Every sugar's bad. Sugar, sugar. Maybe you need to do some homework. 14, that's away. 15. Okay, roll up, one set. <laughs> Quite honestly, if he thinks I didn't do enough work that day, he can bite me.
Kiana, Aaron, Leslie, and Caleb. Bye. Yeah. This means there's very little time left for husband Shane. We don't get much time alone, no, but uh, it's part and parcel of having a large family. At the end of the day, it's a choice to make. Getting the whole family out of the door is no easy feat. Being one of eight children is really annoying. <laughs> there's breakfast times ten. Followed by a conga line of lunch boxes to fill. Usually they get a piece of fruit, two biscuits, three crackers, jam donuts, a cake of some type. School bags, now! She does the school run every day. Oh, it's about 40 minutes round trip. And then it's home to clean up after the little treasures. They don't have chores. They make their beds if they remember. They're only kids, they can't be expected to clean this up all the time, so it goes in there. Yes, I'll decorate these and they can have them for afternoon tea this afternoon. Janine loves baking and always finds time to make a little afternoon sweet treat for the kids. Bunnies! The house! Don't open my eyes, what's in here? To tell me this is where the kids 
How do you think your mum will feel about meeting my kids? How many do you have? I have eight children. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice, being in a house for a whole week with all those kids, I think she'll be bashing her head against the wall. I'll have to start cooking dinner. You're not going to be hungry. At the dailies, the kids have only just finished their afternoon snacks. Okay, spaghetti. And it's time to think about cooking dinner. How much do you cook for ten people? Um, about two bags. Can we put vegetables in it or not? Uh, no, we don't do that. Tracy's already counting calories. These kids are overweight. Yeah, you know, I'd love if I can make some changes. That would be great. How's it going? Smells good. At the Jacksons, Russell's been out for his nightly gym session, and when he gets in, Janine has something to tell him that's been troubling her. When I was reading through the manual, I was, it, it upset me a bit because just reading how much time you and Tracy spend alone, and it seems the whole focus is your relationship. It's okay to be upset. At 
the dailies, the hordes are home. Here we go. And hungry. God, these are huge. Can I have a big one? Yeah, you can have about this. Look, they're all big chunks of rubbish. Oh, good, that's good. Now it's done. Would she go outside and play? Sometimes she would sit down. Walk? Um, not really. I get why the kids just want to eat. I am so bored. I'm just having sort of light bulb moments about, you know, the kids are just, they're bored. They're not having any fun. And I, now I'm bored and I'm not even hungry and I want to eat. Then what are we going to do? Because it's boring. Um, well, you're 12. What stops you? you like... Go and doing something. Your mum won't let you go on your own. Well, I can, but I just no, no, no you can't. can't. You don't just want. So I'm just curious. So mum wouldn't let you go for a walk because my my 12 year old walks around the beach all day on her own with her friends. I don't get it. So she's, she, I, I think she's responsible enough to. It's not the fact of responsibility. It's a lot more dangerous. Oh, honey, I need you. You can get abducted anywhere. You can't live. But your do you life. really want to risk it? You can't live your life in a shit. Right, well, let's, ne let's never leave this house. Oh, let's, not, let's all you are, because let's all stay in the house. Lock the guard. Never go in a car. Never go anywhere. In case we have a car accident. Does your, your, does your daughter just walk around all by herself? Like, she's got to make her own mistakes. She knows. She knows about safety. She I don't understand. She can make her own mistakes, like forgetting her togs. Dog. What happens if she gets abducted? Oh well, it was her mistake. It's all right. I'll I'll pay the ransom, and she can die or whatever. Does that mean you live your life? Doing nothing. This family just need to take the shutters off. They need to just live a little, have a little bit of fun. What Tracy's talking about is you walking down the street by yourself. To the Which I could manage. There's barely anyone that goes down there. But you don't know that, Connor. You don't know what's going to happen, and it's just too dangerous. Dad would say the exact same thing to you, Connor, yeah. for anything. Yeah. Because okay. It's the last day 
day before rule change and a rainy and gloomy start at the Daily House. Children, 
for actually getting them ready to leave home. My kids are self-sufficient, they could do it. How can they be self-sufficient when you're doing everything for them? They can get their own breakfast, they can make their own lunches, I just choose to do it. Big difference. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> so, but my opinion's different to yours. Yeah. It's a scary world out there. I think the girls in this house are left to your own devices way too much. So from now on, Asia, you won't be home alone without a parent. Uh, do you reckon she worries a bit too much? You have to put trust in your kids and you, the kids learn from their mistakes if they make any. Russell, you and Tracy seem overly concerned about your physical appearance. You need to realise you're not 18 anymore. I know that. And looking like an action figure doesn't make you more of a man. So you'll stop going to the gym. <laughs> and hopefully oh my God. this will make you realise that there's more to life than squats, crunches and bench presses. Yes, certainly. To Janine's eyes, I, I'm obviously obsessed. I mean, like, um, what would their form of exercise be? Walking to the minibus? I feel that the priorities in this family are wrong. There will be no more couples time until the kids are in bed. These are my rules. And they start now. Okay, come on kids, we're going to go into the pantry and I want you to get rid of anything in there that you don't think is healthy. It's not long before Tracy's rule changes begin to bite. These are going. Don't need, you don't need biscuits every day. Okay. I was very surprised to see a couple of them cry get emotional and have an emotional attachment to the food. What have we got? Muffins? Croissants? <laughs> they're good. They're, they're, no, they're, they're right. shocking. Now everything we're going to eat is going to be go. bland. Don't you have like good tasting no. stuff? You guys, look. <laughs> it's no more bitching and moaning about the food and how bland it's going to be and how horrible it is. You have to try it. Let's just it. Go it. This bland food. Button it. How do you know? How do you know healthy food's bland food? Has no taste. How do you know? What do you think? I'm just going to put vegetables on your plate? No. No. I want you to embrace this and I want you to eat it. So, of course, I'm going to try and make it as yummy as I can. Okay? Cool. What the bloody hell is this then? Surprise! Oh. Russell gets the shock <laughs> to find their protein powder under lock and key. Okay. So, what are you having for breakfast tomorrow, Dal? I don't know. I give you a bit of energy. But you know, there's there's so much more sugar in this. Yeah, but it, it's it designed for growing kids. It is, it is a meal supplement. It's got a lot of sugar in it. That's why kids like it. Yeah, but it's good sugar. It's not bad sugar. What do you mean good sugars? Not, sugar, sugar, not sugar. every sugar's bad. Sugar's sugar. Anyway, maybe you need to do some homework. I've done my homework. I know what I'm talking about. My kids are all healthy, so it's not going to hurt her. It'll do her good, if anything else. Do her good? I'll do it good. Why will it do it good? Trying to encourage her to have sugar. I'm not encouraging her to have sugar. I'm yes, encouraging her to have because, something because healthy you, for her. You, you, so The more you have, the more you want. I got quite upset with it because I don't like people talking to me like that. I'm not an idiot. The dailies faced their first round of exercise. Could you just hold on tightly? When Tracy packs them off to the local pool. <laughs>
less chores to do, Tracy finally gets to think about herself and heads out for a run. I work this whole day out like I would at home. Structure, time, bang, bang, bang. Just military efficiency. It's not hard. I'm making chocolate spiders for afternoon tea. Meanwhile, at the Jacksons, Janine's making one of her old family favourites. People think with what's in it is bad for you, but these are actually a very healthy snack. Janine then tidies up both girls' rooms this is my way of sort of showing them this is what I do. This is how I mother. Before doing the school pickup. Sweetheart, how's your day been? Very quiet. <laughs> I had nothing to do. I do everything I need to. Yes, I did the washing and the floors and the bedrooms and everything's done and they've kept them clean. So I understand why Tracy has to keep herself busy. Oh, I have a surprise at home for you. I made you something else. Oh my God. <laughs> Spoiled. Asia is enjoying being mothered, Janine style. Yeah, I put my bag down. <laughs> what do you think? It's heaps cleaner. That's cool, I get used to that. <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> but Dad's still not impressed. We don't believe in, in children not actually having um, jobs. I mean, that's all part of, of growing up. Oh, yum. Chocolate spiders. We all have to do things that we don't want to do, and children should learn that from an early age. You know, not be rewarded with biscuits and things instead. You gotta try one. Afternoon tea was disgusting. I mean, you know, I could come home there and see my daughter mixing up a Milo and looking at a bowl full of chocolate. Do you want a treat? Do you want something? I will get you something. It's so beautiful. Even dog will be going to wait. The daily children get their first taste of afternoon tea. Tracy Star. I have enjoyed tasting new things, but the lack of sugary treats and stuff, I haven't enjoyed. Skip! Take a skip! But there's no objection to the daily activity rule.
Yeah. <laughs> Pulled it all out. We put it in boxes. We put it away. Yeah. But talking to the children about their diet too, they're really, really keen for it. Janine expected Tracy's comments on her family's health, but not their happiness. Some of them are really unhappy about their bodies and weight. Mm -hmm. It was heartbreaking for me, actually. Yeah. That brought me to tears. Mm. Some don't have friends because of their weight. I took to boot. She's just adorable. Yeah. And she's so overweight. She weighs nearly as much as me. She's nine. Now, in a couple of years, you keep feeding these kids the way they feed them. Leslie will be huge. What I observed the first three days was children indoors, bored, high on sugar. So, when I changed the rules, we... Tracy was surprised when Asia got upset about the lack of 
family time. So in her usual go hard or go home fashion, Tracy has rectified the situation. It's always a joke now because I, I drag her everywhere and I say, remember, you want quality time with mum? And she's like so over it. Come on, we're going for more quality time with mum. I said, you wanted it, you got it. And she's like, oh God, I'm so overseeing you. It is nice and being spending time with your parents. Well, even more time than before. So you sure don't want to come camping this weekend? You sure now? Yeah. And of course, Sarah, well, yeah. we're trying to, but she's just not interested. She's just she a new one.